everybody, it's Mitzi with Mitzi Adventures. How's this for a good angle? <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bad, isn't it? Uh, sun. Didn't occur to me. Not too many things do. And we're bouncing, and we're bouncing, and we're bouncing. Stop. Okay. Now. It's kind of misty out, and it's... No, it's not. Okay. Um, to the point. I, uh, uh, he found time to look at it yesterday, unfortunately, so I didn't get to stay there. <laughs> I was kind of looking forward to that. Um, but, uh, he looked at it. He took the doghouse apart, took the round thing with the squiggly lines off and another round thing off. Anyway, he finally got to the accelerator and, uh, the reason it wasn't decelerating, I guess, is because there was a little piece of plastic got wedged under the accelerator. So I stepped on the gas, plastic fell, got under it. When I lifted off the gas, it stayed down, which was why it was not decelerating. So he got that little piece of plastic off and uh, fixed it. <laughs> um, he checked out the van. He said there's nothing major wrong with it that he can see. Um, he said for her age, she's in pretty good shape. And I said, so you think it'll make it out west? And he said, well, I can't guarantee it because she's old and you never know what's going to happen. But uh, he said he doesn't see any immediate problems. And um, uh, I asked about the whining whistling or whatever you call it, it makes. Uh, he said, does it do it all the time? I said, no, when I'm idling, it usually doesn't, just when I step on the gas. And he said, it's uh, because the air, there's no air filter. They took. He said, they took out the air filter, and so when they put the belt in, they had to find a smaller belt. I'm saying this very, uh, from my memory, so I could be getting it a little bit wrong. Um, uh, the smaller belt, they had to find a different size belt, and it probably just is just that. <laughs> and I said, well, can we stop it? Not really. Is it going to hurt anything? No, not really. Well, don't I need an air filter? No, not unless you're going to do an emissions test and stuff. And, uh, in Illinois, if it's older than 1996, you don't need to do that. So, all the vehicles that really should be tested, because they're probably polluting the air, in other words, the older vehicles, don't get tested. Only the new ones do. So, I have an 88, 1988, and so it doesn't go through inspection or anything. So, I'm good to go. Um, he said doesn't really need an air filter. Unless I'm going to get it inspected. Okay, I said that already. Uh, what else did he say? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and uh, it cost me 40 bucks. That's not too bad, considering, you know, all the sweat he went through taking this thing apart. And uh, just to find a stupid little piece of plastic. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's not bad at all. And uh, a very nice person. He's been in business forever. And I told him as long as I'm in town, he'll get my business. I tried to barter with him with a, a painting. <laughs> Didn't work. But it's worth a try. I always try. I figure some someday I'm going to get someone who loves horses or loves whatever. And says, oh yeah, I'll take it. We'll barter. What's wrong with bartering? How come people don't barter anymore? That's a whole nother topic. We should start a... a a movement. <clears throat> Actually, the uh, van dwellers do barter. They they pass on stuff they don't need anymore to other van dwellers. That's the way it should be everywhere, you know? Okay, so today, um, I'm going to go to the, um, <laughs> I almost said the zoo. I'm the zoo. I'm going to go to um, the library and do some painting. And uh, uh, I have an appointment at 10 to go somewhere. 
I'll tell you about that if it works out. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, hanging on there. I'm running low on money again, and I just, what, got paid a week ago? <laughs> I'm not running low. It's just that I spend it on stuff that I need for the month. I mean, I have enough food for the month, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, but then it looks like I'm broke. And I kind of am, not completely, but kind of am. Uh, but I have enough money for another tank of gas. Made sure I had enough for that. I just don't have anything extra. And uh, I wish I did. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I, I'm not real good at budgeting, so yeah, Brian, I didn't write down a budget. You know, I just went in and got the stuff I needed. And that's a, a lifelong habit that's hard to break. It's very hard to break. You get what you need, and whatever's left is what's left. But like I said, I have enough for gas, and I have uh, I have enough, I have food, I have enough for a little bit of this and that if I want to get something special or extra, and uh, I'm fine. <laughs> um... And, uh, oh, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm waking up, so I'm, I'm speaking very slowly. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so anyway, everything's good with the van. Um, I don't know that I'm going to make it out to the van build, though, because I don't have enough money for the $75, uh, thing, even though I think it's well worth it, but I just don't have it. And, uh, um... I, I'm just not sure that I can, uh, if I'm this low on money, I, I, I just don't know if I'll be able to, I, I don't know. It's November, November 8th or something like that, so I still have another month and a half. I'm definitely going to RTR, but I, I the fact that I have not been able to get a job in all this time, I thought I'd be working. I should have, you know, if I had gotten a job right away like I thought I would, um, I'd have probably at least a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred in my backup fund already. Because I can live on my Social Security and I was going to save all of my pay into the backup fund. Didn't work out that way. I still am looking for work. So that really kind of pisses me off. But I've been, um, I, I haven't gone, applied at a lot of places because I didn't trust the van. Uh, since I did see the, uh, mechanic, I feel a little more confident about driving her around. Uh, even though, like, you never know what's going to happen, like the stupid piece of plastic that fell <laughs> behind the accelerator. But at least it's, uh, uh, minor stuff. You know, he, he said he can't guarantee it because it's old. Of course, anything could happen. Just like with me, you know. But what am I looking for? I don't know. Okay, so anyway... Um, we're, we're done for today, I think. I'm going to uh, try to show uh, the paintings if I get them done. I'll show them at the end of this video. Um, if not, I'll show them tomorrow, maybe. But everybody have a wonderful day. And uh, continue to follow your bliss. And uh, um, try to get shots that aren't directly in the sun like me because this was dumb. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye.